The figure, topographia, description of a place, a kind of energia, generic name for a group of figures aiming at vivid, lively description. The example, it wasn't far, it wasn't near, it was nowhere, the great absence. It's where he exists, tubes, respirators, eyes closed, comatose. The hospital room is brightly lit day and night, like a greenhouse growing flowers or tomatoes. The bed is high off the floor. With the push of a button, you can raise and lower the head end like an expensive media room settee. But there's no television, no radio, no connection to the outside world. And why should there be? The man in the bed is in another world. He hasn't opened his eyes or shown any interest in anything since he was wheeled in two weeks ago. The floors are so clean and shiny, you can see up your pant leg when you look down. The tiles are brown and yellow, earthy, solid, pastoral even. And when you look out the window, you can see a sprawling parking lot and the Jersey City skyline. It's early evening, so the office buildings are twinkling and bits of New York City are peeking through the the gaps in Jersey City's spacious architectural sprawl. There are flowers delivered fresh every day with a note attached, Love, Susie. He has his own personal woolen blanket with a giant red letter B woven into it. His name is Frankie Silt. What's the B stand for, everybody asks. Bastard? Boyfriend? Bankrupt? What? There is one chair by the bed telling you one visitor at a time. Beige metal with a fake black leather seat, worn by years of visuals held over the dying and the healing, and those like him in neither neither land, alive and dead, binding and void, null and valid. Well, time for bed, which is ironic, since just about everybody's been in bed all day. Soft and soothing music starts to play over the hospital's PA system. It's a richly layered instrumental version of Blue Oyster Cult's Don't Fear the Reaper. Somebody has a sense of humor. I touch Frankie on the forehead. His life sign monitors beep wildly and an alarm goes off. I look up, take a breath, and disappear. Frankie is dead.